Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Karen. Today, we're looking at part two of how to form a habit in 21 days. That's right. Well, it's only been two days, but how is your new habit going? Your new I'm going to exercise for 21 days. Well, see,、oh. these are the videos that I've been、Ooh. watching. I've been watching a lot of videos、cool、on、app. how to exercise,、okay. and、uh, you know some dance and stuff that I can do. Yeah. And、uh, yeah, so.、Uh, Is it? Did、yeah. Did you go today? No, not yet. Did you go yesterday? No. So you、yet. haven't actually started. Well, Karen. Well, I'm just trying to get myself ready to、mm-hmm. exercise because it's not that easy. I don't think I'm ready to do this. Well, I guess if you're not ready to do it, but how will you know if you're ready or not unless you try? You got to try first before you can say I'm not ready. Because if I do it, then、yes. I have to do it for 21 days at least. Yeah, that's the point. What if I don't want to? Well, then you can start again. <gasps> You don't have to do it the first time, but you can't do it if you don't try. So I have to take action.、You、That's、do. what you're saying, right? Absolutely. Hopefully, you can get to 21 days. I mean, it would be great if you could get to 90 days, but you definitely need to try to get to three days. Okay. Okay. That's well, my goal. Okay. The week.、Start. The weekend's coming up. That、mm-hmm. should give you a couple of days, right? You don't have to do much. Just get out there for a little bit today and tomorrow. Maybe I'll start by doing like two minutes of yeah, exercise. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, and you're off. Okay, sounds good. I okay, think I think I'm ready. Thanks, Mike. You're very welcome. You. We're going to have more great advice on how to be successful using this 2190 rule in today's article. So let's check it out. Let's go. Get out there. I was excited to start my new habit. Although I didn't run very fast, I was happy. For the first few days, I practiced my habit without a problem. My feelings began to change after that. I looked and felt the same as before, so I wanted to give up. However, I didn't, and I soon got a little better. A part two of how to form a habit in 21 days, right? That's right. And that's something that I really, really need to learn, and I will definitely take action and start soon. Well, this article will be great for you, for me, for anyone who's looking to get a new habit going in their life. And actually, especially for you, because it's kind of the same thing: exercising. That、mm. is the writer's goal. That's also your goal. So let's read about how they did it, and then that will make it easier for us to do it. Now we read. I was excited to start my new habit. See, they're excited. I'm a little bit scared. I think you're nervous to start your new habit, <laughs> right? right. But if, if you look at it as in a challenge, as an adventure, you know, it'll probably make it easier than just as something you don't want to do. You're、so、right. So be excited, have a good attitude about it, and you'll probably enjoy it more. Now, if you're exercising. Exercising for the first time in a long time, it can be scary and hard.、Definitely. Although I didn't run very fast, I was happy. So there you go. They got out there. They did some running. They weren't, you know, winning any races or setting any world records, but they were happy just to be doing it. I guess you're right.、Mm. If you're happy about it, then you will feel very, very excited, right?、Mm. And that is an adjective. When you say that you feel excited about something, that means you're all pumped up, you're happy, and then you're very energetic about doing this thing, and you're looking forward to it. So, for example, I feel excited about going to the amusement park. Oh, because it's always、yeah. very exciting to go on all the rides, right? For sure, we、mm-hmm. often feel excited about things while we're doing them, but especially right before we do them. That's right. Like the night before or something you really want to do and you can't sleep because your body has that energy in it. You're definitely pretty excited. Exactly. When do you usually feel excited?、Uh, Friday afternoons. <laughs> 
Maybe before I go on a holiday, you know, something like that. You're you, right. You know, I play music before I go on stage、uh-huh. to play the, to, you know, to begin the concert. Yes. Any time you're doing something you really enjoy, fun. Maybe it's a little scary too,、uh-huh. but in a good way, you will feel excited. Absolutely.、Hmm. For the first few days, I practice my habit without a problem,、mm. and I think it's usually very easy for the first few days because、right. it's something new.、Yep. You're very excited and very happy. About it, but、mm-hmm. the difficult part is how to stick to it.、Mm, once it kind of starts to get a little more boring, a little more normal, not so exciting. Yes, you would definitely have to kind of stick to it.、Mm-hmm. When you're practicing something, it basically means you're doing something as a way of getting better at it. You practice sports, you practice your musical instrument, you practice English. Anything that you can't just learn right away and be good at right away, you have to get good at. Over time, and one of the things you can do, one of the main things you should do, is practice that thing. You're not in the game, you're not in the test. You're getting ready for the game, you're getting ready for the test, and you're improving your skill all the time when you practice. All right, back to the article. So it was fun for the first few days, and then、uh, then I just had to do it, and it wasn't so exciting or interesting. As the writer says, my feelings began to change after that. Yeah,、mm. even something difficult we can be excited about because it's new and it's interesting and we've never done it before. But almost anything in our life can get a little boring, and your feelings can change. Exactly, and feeling is a noun. When you say my feelings began to change, maybe at the beginning you felt really, really excited, and then maybe you just started to feel, oh no, I feel a little bit scared, or I feel a little bit tired. So feeling is basically how you feel about something, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if your feelings begin to change, maybe in a bad way, that means maybe you don't want to do it anymore,、mm-hmm. right? So What can we do if we don't want to do it anymore?、Mm. I really don't know. Especially dealing with the frustration when you're doing、exactly. it, and you start to go, you know, why am I doing this? It's not exciting anymore. I don't, I don't like it anymore. Mm-hmm. Just like the article says, I looked and. Felt the same as before, so I wanted to give up. Because when you're trying to form a habit, you want to exercise because maybe you want to be in a better shape. But it takes time.、Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen right away. It may take like maybe three months, half a year. We don't know. But you have to do it regularly in order to see the change. You mean if I go to the gym two times this week, I won't look like Thor? <laughs> I have to、I'm、go、afraid. more than two times、I'm、to look like Thor. I'm afraid not. Exactly. Oh man, that's <laughs> tough. That's hard work. Ninety days. Remember, Mike. Ninety days、exactly. until it becomes part of your life, right? Yeah, it's very easy to give up at first, but、mm-hmm. you definitely won't reach that goal. However, the writer says, "I didn't. I didn't give up. Yay! Good for Yay. them." However, I didn't. I didn't give up, and I soon got a little better. So they started、Aww. to get a little better, run a little faster. Maybe notice that their pants are a little looser. You know, <laughs> they're getting a little smaller when they look in the mirror. That kind of thing. So those little steps, those little signs that you're getting better, are a great way to keep going and not give up. When you give up, it's like to quit. You stop doing something. Maybe because you're finished, but more likely because you don't want to do it anymore. You ran out of time, or you just feel like this will not work. I can do this for another hour, but it won't work. I won't succeed. I will fail. So ah, it's a waste of time. I'm giving up. But remember, you will always fail everything you give up. But if、mm-hmm. you don't give up, you might actually succeed in the end. Exactly. All right, guys. Let's take a break, and then we'll be back with more about our article. See you soon. Each time I ran for longer, and I felt really good. I also reached my goal and ran for 30 minutes before the 21st day. I felt very proud. Now it's time for 90 days. Welcome back, everyone. So before the break, we talked about not giving up,、mm. right? And sometimes you go through the stages of feeling excited, and then your feelings would change, but then you would feel good again if you continue. So let's find out what's going to happen next. 
Each time I ran for longer and I felt really good. Mm. I also reached my goal and ran for 30 minutes before the 21st day. Mm. Wow, good for you. Yeah, they reached their goal a little bit early there because mm -hmm. I think the goal was to run for 30 minutes by the 21st day. They reached or hit or got to that goal before the 21st day. So it actually was uh, was easier than they imagined. They were more successful more quickly mm -hmm. than they imagined. They reached that goal earlier than they expected. When you reach something, well, it could be to stretch your body to get something that's <laughs> far away. If something is on the other side of the table and someone can't pass, you might have to stand up and lean your body over, you know, make your arms as long as they can to reach something. If you're a shorter person like me, you probably can't reach the basketball hoop, right? If you're trying to slam dunk, it's impossible if you're short because you can't reach that high. We can also use it, to, though, to talk about being successful. You reach a goal, you reach a target. This is not something in the real world, like trying to touch something. It's just getting to a place that you want to get to. Mm -hmm. And it's probably a little difficult. It'll probably take some time. It won't be easy right away. But if you keep doing it, you will reach that goal. You will hit your target. You will be successful in what you're trying to do. And if you reach your goal, well, of course, you should feel good about it. And that's what the writer says next. I felt very proud. Good for you. If you're proud, you feel good about yourself. Now, the writer says, it's time for 90 days. Wow, so I guess he's not giving up, right? No, that's great. They mm. got to the uh, 30 minutes and 21 days very easily. Well, easier than they expected. So maybe after 90 days, what? Maybe they'll be running for 45 minutes or an hour maybe. without stopping. Who knows? And you can set a higher goal for yourself, right? And yep. he really felt proud mm. when you reach your goal. Proud is an adjective. It's a feeling of being very, very happy and very, very pleased about something or someone. So a mother can feel very proud of her child. Maybe her child has done something really great. And you can be very proud of yourself when you reach your goal, right? Absolutely. It's totally okay to be proud if you do something difficult, you worked hard, you're like, yeah, good job, me. But of course, we can be too proud if we mm. walk around telling everyone how great we are, <laughs> and how wonderful and how successful we are. People might go, okay, all right. You're bragging. You have a reason to be proud, but you don't have to talk about it all the time. But no, if you do something hard, like getting out there to exercise when before you were a couch potato, yes, you should be proud of yourself. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thanks for joining us, guys. We wish you success in all of your endeavors in 2190, 365 days, whatever. If you don't quit, don't give up. You will reach that goal. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. See you next time. I was excited to start my new habit. Although I didn't run very fast, I was happy. For the first few days, I practiced my habit without a problem. My feelings began to change after that. I looked and felt the same as before, so I wanted to give up. However, I didn't, and I soon got a little better. Each time I ran for longer, and I felt really good. I also reached my goal and ran for 30 minutes before the 21st day. I felt very proud. Now it's time for 90 days. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at this lesson's key words. First, excited, excited. Excited. Jacqueline is really excited about the trip to Australia. Jacqueline 对于去澳洲旅行感到非常兴奋。下一个单词 practice practice 动词练习。Penny practices the violin three times a week. Penny 一周练小提琴三次。下一个单词 feeling feeling 名词感受。You can trust me. You don't need to hide your feelings. 你可以信任我，你不需要隐藏你的感受。下一个单词 proud。Proud, 形容词，骄傲的，光荣的。I was very proud when my brother won the game. 我弟弟赢了比赛，我感到很骄傲。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，although 的用法。
连接词 although 表示虽然、尽管，它连接了两个完整子句。我们来看看这个例句 ：Although Peter was sick, he still went to work. <笑>下一个文法 give up 放弃，我们来看看这个例句。Tom gave up soccer because he was ill. Tom 因为生病而放弃足球。最后一个文法 it's time for 加名词，表示做什么事情的时间到了。也可以说 it's time to 加动词，表示是时候该做某件事了。所以睡觉的时间到了，可以怎么说呢？第一种说法 it's time for bed， 或者你也可以说 it's time to go to bed。以上就是我们这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。I'm Jamie. I'm Josh. And today we're playing a game called Guess the Bear, where we each have three cards with words or phrases on them. And instead of saying those words or phrases, we're going to say the word bear instead. So we have to guess what is the word or phrase. So are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you better be, because we're doing it whether you like it or not. So ready? Go. All right. One word verb. My brother bears the guitar every day, and if you want to be good, you need to bear. You gotta play that guitar. You have to play it, but also okay, so another word. word. My、All、brother、right. bears the guitar every day. Uh, well, you, if you want to be good, you need to bear. Pr practice. practice. Yes,、yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Okay,、yeah. good. One word adjective. I am so bare to travel abroad this year, and he's really bare for the concert tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna just go out on a limb here and say prepared. Uh, not quite. I am so bare to travel abroad this year, and he's really bare for the concert tomorrow. Uh, fired up. Uh, not quite. We'll we'll we'll, pass. we'll go back.、Yeah. Um, phrase two words. I bared bare looking for my keys after an hour, and I bare bare. What's the answer to your question? Uh, I'm gonna think. I think I got this one.、Uh, could it be give up? Yes, it is、oh, give、right. up. All right, let's, let's go back, let's to, the go back to that other one. All right. All right. I am so bare to travel abroad this year. Oh, we're so close. I think you would have gotten this one if you had more time. It's excited. So、oh, I am、man. so excited to travel abroad this year, and he's really excited for the concert tomorrow. So okay. Very close. Well, very now close. I'm not excited. Oh so, no. Because <laughs> I didn't get all three. But, oh, it's okay. 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 All right. Let's try. Done deal.、Mm. Done deal. I hope you get one. Thank you. <laughs> Done. All right. Adjective. One word. She's really bare of her daughter's achievements. I'm bare to be involved in this important project. Could it be proud? The answer is yes, it is. Okay, I'm so、good. proud of you, Jamie. Oh, thank you. Oh, so proud. <laughs> Now, one word. He doesn't care about other people's bears. When we first got there, I had a bad bear. Could it be feeling? It is. It is? Okay. <laughs> did you look at the cards? No. I'm pretty sure you looked at the cards. I didn't. All right. We'll try to get this one. Okay. Phrase. Three words. Let's go. Bear, 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 the show to begin. Bear, 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 the next challenge. Uh, wait. Get ready for? No. No.、Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Can you say it again? Sure. Let's go. Bear, 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 the show to begin. Bear, 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 the next challenge. Bear, 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 the next challenge.、Um, wait. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I give up. Actually, I think you've got to、yeah. give up. Well,、right. I'm、What、just gonna let you know what it is. So phrase three words. It's time for. Let's go. It's time for the show to begin. It's time for the next challenge. Ah, okay. Get the show going. See you next time.